The Solana blockchain along with Phantom Wallet has a growing number of dApps that let us trade, swap, invest and hold NFTs. Plus Solana as a blockchain is trying to become more interoperable by setting up bridges with other chains like Terra, Cosmos and even Ethereum. In this video, we'll go over setting up a Phantom Wallet on Solana, getting some Sol tokens into the wallet, using the built-in DEX to swap the tokens. Then we'll stake some Solana in the wallet itself and use an application on the blockchain with the wallet too. Timestamps for each section are in the video description, plus some other helpful videos that you may need, so definitely check down there. Firstly, what we can actually do is come to Phantom on the Chrome store. So you can see this has 900,000 users right here. So this is the one. It may have more than this by the time you're watching. Or you can just go to phantom.app. And that is this website. If you have Chrome, you can see the button up here to add to Chrome. Phantom is a uh, browser-based wallet, much like MetaMask. And it will have Ethereum support in the future, like I said. So you can see that it just comes up here as uh, an extension and you can use the wallet in various different ways. It is non-custodial, so you keep your tokens on the blockchain. You can swap right within the app and you can actually see NFTs in here as well. So what we're gonna do is just add to Chrome and then go and set it up. So just come up here and press add to Chrome. It will take you back to the Chrome store. Click on download that, accept it, and then it will just take you through to the Phantom Wallet page where you actually set up your wallet. If you have a wallet set up already, then you can use your recovery phrase to recover and get access to that wallet. I'm gonna click create new wallet, and then you'll see a recovery phrase of 12 words. If you ever lose access to your wallet, you will need this to recover the wallet on a different computer. Also, if someone else has access to this key phrase, they will also have access to your wallet. So just keep it in a safe place and out of harm's way. Once you've got that written down, come over to create a password, click on agree to the terms of service, and then click on save. After that, you are all done and you have your wallet. You also have all your addresses. You can pin that as an extension if you want, but you don't have to. If you're on Chrome, just go into your extensions dashboard and then it should show up right there. Right now you can go to your Chrome extensions and you can get the wallet looking like this. Right now there is no option to actually put the wallet into a full screen. So this is just the light wallet that you can see right here. First thing you might want to do is go over to the settings and add some addresses in. If you have exchanges that you want to send Solana or other tokens to, you can add them here. You can also check out any trusted apps. When you start using apps on the blockchain, you will be prompted to make them trusted in your wallet and you can see a list of them right here. You can add or remove them if you want. Coming down, we can see change password if you want to do that. And an auto lock timer, you can set this to anything that you want. So after a period of inactivity, it will actually lock and you'll have to re-enter your password to use the wallet once more. Down here on change network, as you can see, you can change between the different networks. You'll want to be on the main net. So just stick on that one. And then coming down further, you can actually export your private keys. So that is your private wallet key that you can use to further access the wallet and maybe you want to take your coins out to a paper wallet, you can do that. And then if you want to be reminded of your secret recovery phrase, you can just show that right here. If we come over to the main page once more though, up in the top left and these three dots, you can actually add or connect a wallet. So if you want to add another wallet, you can do that. Phantom Wallet allows you to add more than one wallet. So we have wallet one right here. You can add more if you want. Just click add, go through that setup process and you can manually lock the wallet yourself right here as well. So you need to input the password once it's locked. Next, I want to deposit some Solana into the wallet itself and there's a few different ways to do this. The first one is to actually just press receive and then you have two options. Either send from an exchange or another wallet or deposit from FTX. FTX is a centralized exchange and they work hand in hand with Solana as their blockchain counterpart. Um, you can go and buy Solana on FTX and deposit it very easily. I think they actually give a 5% discount on trading fees. Um, if you want to use our referral code, you can uh, earn a 5% discount for all time on your trading fees. So come and just click deposit from FTX. It will take you over to the FTX exchange. You can sign up via the link below and get that 5% discount. Or if you have a different exchange, just click send from wallet or exchange. What I'm actually going to do though is close this and really simply just click on the wallet up here and it says copy to clipboard. This is your wallet address. 
So the address that anyone wants to send coins to you, this is what you're gonna to have to use. So just press copy and that's now copied to clipboard. You can see I do have some Solana tokens in here. So very simply just paste your address in. It's gonna automatically recognize that you're on the Solana network right here. Just choose how many that you want to withdraw and go through that withdrawal, whether you're on FTX, uh, another exchange or another wallet, it's gonna be the same. Make sure the address that you wanna send it to is your new Phantom Wallet address. Go through that withdrawal. And after a few minutes, that will be in your Phantom Wallet. That deposit should hit your Phantom Wallet very quickly because Solana is a very fast blockchain. You can see it's in my wallet already. It took maybe a minute or so. Uh, and you can also add tokens as well. So you can see that Solana is obviously gonna be here as a supported token. So you have the price and everything like that. You can also click on manage token list and you can just click Solana right here. This is the Solana official token list. So you have all the official tokens here. Uh, search for a token that you want to add. So for example, Radium is a token and you can just click on add right here. So I've added that to my list. I can then click on close. You can see Radium is here now. I don't have a balance, but you can go through the exact same process. Copy your wallet address. And then if you have Radium tokens on Binance or FTX exchange, you can just uh, deposit them right in here and it will show up as an added token right here. Sending tokens out is the exact opposite. So you will need an address of your FTX exchange or another wallet, click on send right here. Then it will show you balances that you have. I do have Solana, so I can click on Solana. I need to copy in the recipient's address. So the other exchange or wallet that you have, the amount that you want to send, click on next. You have to go through and pay a small blockchain fee to do that, but it will very quickly be sent out to the wallet address that you want to send it to. Phantom Wallet also has a built in DEX right in the wallet, which is very, very convenient. So we can come right over to that DEX. So we can just click on this icon right here. And obviously you need some tokens in your wallet to be able to swap one token into another. So I do have some Solana right here, but I can swap that into another token. So I can click on this and I'm going to swap that into some Radium tokens. So how much do you want to uh, actually swap into that? You can type something like 0 0.05 and it will tell you how many of the other token that you'll actually get. So one Solana equals 19 0.27 radium right now and you can type in as much as you want to trade. You'll also see something called slippage tolerance. This is how much tolerance you have for the price being slightly different when you actually trade compared to when you touch the button. Because this is a decentralized exchange and it uses an automated market maker, that is it automatically decides the price of the swap based on supply and demand at the time. When you click review order and trade, that may change slightly from when you press the button to when it actually trades. So slippage tolerance, as you can see, just set this usually at 1% is absolutely fine. Solana is a very fast blockchain, so it's not gonna move a ton by the time you actually get the trade done. So let's just go through and review this order. So I'm just gonna click review order. You can see all the details right here. Slippage tolerance is 1%, estimated fees, 46 cents. So you're paying you know, a blockchain fee and also a fee to the DEX as well for being there. Just click swap that will be done for you. You can go and click view transaction. That will take you through to the Solana Blockchain Explorer. You can actually see your transaction on the blockchain, see the transaction has, hash if you wanna uh, use that. I'm just gonna click on close. You can see that's done. So if I go back to my main wallet now, you can see I now have an amount of Solana and an amount of Radium in there. Another good option is to look at all of your different transactions on all the apps that you use in your wallet. So come to this lightning icon and you can see every single transaction that's happened. So yes, I deposited some Solana right here. That was my first ever transaction. And then the next one is an exchange. So every single time that you interact with an app or anything like that, you'll see it all here. So you can see your history, which is obviously really important. Definitely though, if you have Solana tokens in your wallet, you'll want to be staking them to get those big staking rewards that Solana pays and you can participate in the inflation. So staking is easy in the Phantom Wallet app. Just come to Solana, so the token itself, click on Solana. You should see some information about your account and your holdings and just click on this button, start earning with Sol. So if we click through to that, it will now uh, give us a bunch of nodes. So we can choose one of these nodes to delegate our Solana tokens to, and we'll stake it with them, and then they will pass most of the rewards back to us. You can search a validator up here if you know which one that you want to choose, or you can just come down and see a bunch of different validators that you may want to stake your tokens with. You can see the fee as well. So 
most of these validators actually take a 10% fee for you know, keeping the blockchain up and running. So let's just, for example, click on stake systems. What we can see here is we have stake systems, the commission is 10%, the total stake. So everyone who's delegating their Solana to this stake pool, you can see it's 156 million. Uh, yes, 156 million so, uh, and then the number of delegators, that is the number of wallets that are delegating their Solana tokens to this validator is around you know 5,300. So how much do you want to stake and start earning those passive income rewards? Click max or click any amount. I'm going to leave some Solana tokens in my wallet because when you interact with the blockchain, you need fees. So I'm actually going to uh, type in zero, 0.25 like this just to show you and I want to keep some Solana in there to pay for fees if I want to use other applications just click on stake right here and yes you will need to view that transaction on the blockchain if you want to go ahead and do that but you are now delegating your Solana tokens right to this validator and over time they will pass those rewards back to you uh, as a uh, holder who stakes your Solana tokens. So we can see that has gone through right there. So we've got the tick, we can click close right here. And then in the Solana token page, you can see my stake is 0.25 Solana right here. You can add to this further if you want, just put more tokens in your wallet and you'll be staking that right there. Next, you can actually use your Phantom wallet with other applications. So if you wanna come out of the wallet itself, you can use it to link up with DeFi protocols and other exchanges. But you're gonna flick over to Radium, which is one of the biggest DeFi protocols on Solana. We're gonna go into the app, so, so click launch app. Then you have to connect your wallet right here. You can see a bunch of different wallets that you can connect. I'm gonna connect my Phantom wallet. So it's gonna take me through. And do I want to connect to this application? Yes, I do. Uh, so we are now connected to it. Now, if we go back and actually bring up our Phantom wallet, what you will actually see right here, you can come down to the settings and come down to trusted apps. And you can see Radium is in here right now. You can revoke this if you want. So next time that you want to connect your wallet, it will have to uh, then be approved once more. Or if you're happy with this app, just keep it in your, uh, your trusted tokens right here. And then you won't have to go and approve it next time. So that makes things very easy. If you want to use Radium to swap, you can do that here as well. So you can check the amount of tokens that you want to swap from and to. Let's go over to adding liquidity though. There's many different aspects to adding liquidity onto all of these protocols, which I'm not gonna get into here. If you wanna know more about that, I go through it in you know a lot of depth in the crypto course, link in description if you uh, want to get involved with that. But what you can do is add liquidity. So I now have an amount of Ray tokens. I know I have those because I swapped them in my Phantom wallet before. And then you have to input another token here. So for example, if you have Solana or USDT, we can come to select token. You can say I have some Solana here. That will actually put you into a Solana and Radium liquidity pool. And then you can start earning some fees from people that pay fees to trade. So as I said, if you wanna know more about adding liquidity and how I use DeFi protocols, I go through that in the crypto course. I won't go through that here, but you can do that on Radium by linking up your Phantom wallet. If you have Radium tokens and you're in the Solana ecosystem, you can also use Radium to stake your tokens. So just come over to the staking option right here. Like I said, I have some Radium tokens from that swap. So what I can do is actually come and stake Ray like this. Then I can click max on my Ray, click confirm, and that will go through and I need to approve that transaction. I'm going to pay the network fee in Solana tokens. So yeah, you need some Solana tokens in your wallet at all times to pay for fees. You can see that that has gone through super quick. Solana is a very quick blockchain. I'm now earning some income rewards at 25% on my Ray tokens as well. Like I said, there are many different aspects to staking and earning rewards that I can't go into in this video, but you know, definitely not financial advice, make your own decisions and understand all the pros and cons of doing this. That though is using the Phantom Wallet on the Solana blockchain, very fast, easy, and cheap as well. If you need more information, do check all the links in the description, go through to FTX and get a 5% discount and everything else. Everything is down in the description if you need it. I'm James with MoneyZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.